Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is adding, subtracting, timesing, dividing fractions. Exam questions. Let's do it. So these questions are really common, and you will need to convert them into uh, mixed numbers. So I have one hole here, and we are dealing in thirds. So how many thirds are there in one hole? There are three. So I do three, and then I add on two thirds there. So a quick way of doing this is doing three times one, and then plus two, and that gives us five. So it's five thirds. Next, we're dealing in quarters. And how many quarters are there in one hole? There are four. So in two holes, there are eight. Plus three gives me 11. Again, we can do just four times two, and then plus the three there to get 11. We're adding these two fractions together and we need to correct common denominator and the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So I times this one top and bottom by 3 and I times this one top and bottom by 4. This gives me 20 over 12 and 33 over 12. Adding the two numerators together gives me 53 over 12. Now, how many 12s go into 53? Well, 4 makes 48. And from 48, I will need 5 to get to 53. Very good. Notice as well how I just completely ignored the answer. I don't use that as part of my working. I only arrive at the answer once I've finished doing all my working. Next question, uh, very similar. When we're adding or subtracting, we do the same thing and find a common denominator. But first, we need to convert them to improper. So I do seven times three is 21, plus four is 25. So I write 25 over seven. One times eight is eight, plus five is 13. So I write 13 over eight. Next, I find the common denominator, which is 56. So I times this one by 7 and I times this one by 8. Okay, what's this going to give me? Uh, 8 times 25 is 200 over 56. 13 times 7, well, that's a bit tricky, so I might use my calculator for this. 13 times 7, I get 91. And 8 times 7 is 56. And then I need to subtract the two numerators here. 200 minus 91 is 109. And how many 56s go into 109? Well, 56 times 2 is 112. So that's too many. So it's just the 1 this time. And if I've used 56, 56... Then how many do I have left? Well, 109 minus the 56 I've already used is 53. Okay, then I just look up to the top and I check, is that the same up there as it is down here? Yes, it is. I'm good to go. And next question, we are multiplying rather than adding and subtracting. So slightly different this time, but still they're improper. Oh, sorry, they're mixed numbers. We need to convert them to improper. So 3 times 1. 1 plus 4, sorry, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, so 5 over 3. 2 times 15 is 30, plus 1 is 31, and that's over 15. And we're multiplying. Now, when we multiply, we could just times the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom, and we'll be done with it. But we can take a few shortcuts, and we can simplify first. So what I've spotted is that the top line has a 5, and the bottom line has a 15. And these both have factors of 5. So I can do a simple simplification just to make our multiplying easier. I could divide this by 5 on top, and I could divide this by 5 on bottom. And as long as the factors are 1 on top, 1 on bottom, then we are good to go. OK, now we can multiply 1 by 31 gives you 31. And 3 by 3 gives me 9. How many 9s go into 39? 31, sorry. Uh, 27 is 3 lots. 
And from 27, I need to add on four to get to 31. And again, we have a quick check and we are good. And the final question is a division. So we again convert to um, uh, improper. So we do three times four is 12 plus two gives me 14. And we do nine times one is nine plus one is 10. And we are dividing. And then the secret to division is keep, flip, change. So we keep this fraction the same. We flip the second fraction over and then we change to a multiplication. I can see some factors here and I'm definitely going to take the opportunity to divide to make my multiplying easier. This top line has a factor of 2 so I can divide by 2 to make 7 because this bottom also has a factor of 2 which gives me 5. I can see further simplification possible here because we have factors of 3 on the top here so divide by 3 and here on the bottom I'm going to divide by 3. Okay, now let's multiply 7 by 3, which gives me 21, and 1 by 5, which gives me 5. How many 5s go into 21? That's 4 to make 20, and then 1 left over to make 21. Quick check, and we are good. That's fractions done. A really key skill to get you off and running at the start of your exam. These questions come up really frequently, so it's definitely one you should master. Okay, bye for now.